You will not believe this. Yaron Reuven, a famous Israeli rabbi with an extensive base of followers on social media and millions of video views online, released a video a few weeks ago in which he claims that Moti and I were trying to beat up another rabbi, Daniel Asor, and trying to break his bones. And why? Because he refuted us in a debate. Watch this. Their book says that the only way they're going to get rewarded is if the Jewish people, the chosen one, if their God was a Jew. So if their salvation will come when the Jewish people become Christian. They accept Yoshke. So you'd figure, they say, we love Jews. But the second the Jewish people said, listen, you can say you love us until you turn blue in the face. We're not converting. What do they do? Their craziness turns into murder. And they start massacring us by the millions. Wait, but you just told us you love us. You just told us that your God is one of us. You just told us that your whole salvation depends on us. How is your salvation going to come if you're going to kill all of us? Where do we see the same mentality? Zionism. Helps in Zionism. When it didn't go his way, he figured he'd kill us in the process. Says this minute, this missionizing, it's not normal. It's not like anything else. You go to India, you go to different places in the world, they have different religions. Most of the time, they're not going to care that you're even there. And surely they're not going to try missionizing. And if you simply say no, most of the time you just walk away from you. Okay, you don't want to eat people like us? Okay, fine, go. You're missing out. You don't want to drink a little bit of a cup of uh, cow urine? And pray to the cow because she takes nine months to give birth. You don't want to pray to that? Ah, you're missing out. That's it. But the Christian missionaries, they can't, they can't handle it. They can't handle it. Rabbi Daniel Asor, who himself used to be a missionary, before he became a religious Jew, a rabbi, Talmud Chacham, an anti-missionary, he knows all the secrets. Wrote a book about it. One time, recently, he told this story firsthand to my rab because they attend the same kolel. And he met with the top two most dangerous missionaries in Israel, probably in the world today. Just two clowns from one for Israel. Eitan and Moti. He met them at a cafe, neutral place, to have a debate. But not like they always want to make a stage out of it and so on, but sophisticated debate among peers, if you will. He's trying to get them to leave and abandon their heresy, and surely they're trying to get him to join them. But needless to say, this is supposed to be cordial, nice, civilized, and so on. After he destroys both of them, in the cafe, beats them in the, in, in the debate, proves everything that they're saying wrong. They both get up and try to beat him up. He was already prepared ahead of time. He was in, he was in the Air Force, he was a smart guy. Already knew this was gonna happen ahead of time. He knows Christians like the back of his hands. He already prepared a few people, came in and then broke it up. But they tried to beat him up, tried to break his bones. Why? In the missionary mentality, this is a necessary evil. Where did they get it from? Their father Esau. In Parashat Vayishlach, Yaakov, before he goes to meet Esau, runs into the Sar of, of Edom, the angel of Edom. And the Pasuk says, when the angel figured out that he couldn't conquer Yaakov, couldn't overcome him, what did he do? He hit him in the Kaf Yerichot. He hit him in a place that caused just a little bit of damage. Meaning, I'm going to pretend like we're friends. I love you, you love me, right? Yeah, I'm going to give you some money. Yeah, pretend. Ha, ha, ha. Oh wait, you don't want to be Christian? Ta! At least I got something. At least I got something. This is how it works. This is how it's always worked. Now, if you're offended by it, be offended. That's the reason it's You can't debate it. That's history. 
That's reality. This Rabotai is only being allowed to happen because we are not keeping our end of the bargain to HaKadosh Baruch If we were keeping our end of the bargain to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, I'll protect you in an unnatural way. But when we don't keep our bargain with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, we don't keep Shabbat, we start acting like we, we make ourselves uh, enemies to each other. This is nothing but a big fat lie. More than one, actually. Let me share a few important points. Point number one. We only met Rabbi Daniel Asor once in our lives, not recently, but seven years ago in a coffee shop here in Netanya, Israel. Point number two. There was a young man named Meir who got in touch with us, asking us to join his meeting with Rabbi Daniel Asor, and so we did. We mostly listened while they did most of the talking. Point number three. The proof that Rabbi Daniel Asor did not refute or destroy us in the conversation is that the young man, Meir, was baptized in the name of Yeshua following that very meeting and is a strong believer to this day. Point number four. Following the video, I wrote Daniel Asor and asked him if he actually told someone that story or if Rabbi Yuval Reuven made this up on his own. Daniel Asor wrote me back and verified in writing that this is an untrue story, a myth, actually using the word a lie. Point number five. I got in touch with Rabbi Yaron Reuven twice, both by email and by registered mail, explaining all of these points to him, asking him politely to take down the video, but he refused. Even though he knew he was caught in the lie, he proceeded to spread and promote this myth even farther on social media to thousands more. This situation is a great example of what is going on in Israel between us followers of Yeshua and the rabbis. Since on the intellectual level they fail in stopping the gospel in Israel, what do they do instead? They spread fake news and lies against us, trying to entice us. Moti, Anastasia and myself had to file complaints at the police station a few times already because of threats against us and our families coming from their followers. Since we've gracefully asked Rabbi Yaron Reuven to remove the video and he refused to do so, continuing to promote it on social media, we now ask for your help. Please help us fight the fake news and lies by sharing this video.